Hello, in this CEMU tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set it up on Windows. So I'll be using version 2 for CEMU and works really great. I recommend you check out the compatibility list to get, you know, full confirmation that your game is going to work. But that's what I would recommend. OK, so first of all, no disclaimer. I am not condoning piracy. This video is for educational purposes. And I recommend that you own the console that you're using, I mean, that you're emulating, in this case, a Wii U. And I recommend that you own the game that you are going to be trying as well. With that out of the way, first of all, we need to download, and let me just close that down. Just download CEMU. And yeah, let's just close all those tabs. Don't need any of that stuff. Now I'll do it manually. Okay, so what we want to do is literally, if we search for CEMU, I'll provide a link in the description, and open this one up and open the compatibility list up. On here, go to download, and you can go to the latest stable release, which will get you 1.26, and you can get the latest pre 2.0, but if we go to, we want this one, so we click that, to take us to the GitHub page. I'd say stay away from the pre-releases, go to the latest, which is, as of creating this video, is CEMU 2.0. Just go grab the latest, you know, non-pre-release. Go down, grab the Windows link. I'll be doing a separate video for Linux as well and Steam Deck, so feel free to, you know, check that out. And whilst that downloads, go over here, and over 50% of the games are playable. And over 50, over 70% actually run. <laughs> and over 85% of the games will, you know, load, run, be playable or perfect, which is fantastic. So ideally you want them in these two brackets. Those are what you ideally want. And I'm testing Super Mario Maker. So I'll just go to S, scroll down, find Super Mario Maker right there. That's the perfect one. I already know because I've already, you know, checked it out. But on here, it'll tell you if there's any issue. The graphics pack grid fixes this issue so there are some missing effects i'll show you about that in a moment as well so that's the grid fix and yes yeah, so there's some test videos so feel free to check out what they are saying and that's it really and we can close this down i'll show in folder then close it and i've already got a duplicate so i'm just gonna actually delete this one i'll use the old one that i've already got so right click it Go to extract all, extract. Shouldn't take long. Feel free to use your own extracting tool of choice like 7-Zip or WinRAR. It is faster with a tool like that compared to the built-in Windows one. And what we're gonna do in here, in the CEMU where, where all this is, create a folder called games. And we'll put all our games here, you guessed it. And I've got a Super Mario Maker game right here. So I'm just going to copy this, copy that. Paste it. Shouldn't take too long to copy it over. It does it pretty fast. So yeah, I recommend keep all your games in one location. And if you want, you know, put the all of the CEMU folder into a specific location. Maybe it's on like a C or D drive in program files. Maybe it's in a games folder, whatever it is. I'm in here. So obviously, if you want to know how to, you know, get the game, feel free to Google it. You can literally Google the game name and like we download. That should help as well. And, if, you know, if you need any more information about anything, feel free to join the Discord group to the link in the description and we will help you out. So if I click that, open this up, this pops up, just click run anyway. And for the MLC path, so this is just where stuff like saves, the updates and DLC is going to be stored. If you leave it empty, it puts it right over here. And I'll recommend just leave it empty. For the game path, click browse, go to that games folder that we created. And if you created it somewhere else, maybe on external drive, for example, I know a lot of people do that. Feel free to just, you know, specify that as the folder and go to download community graphic packs. It will download everything. Do you want to view the graphic packs? And Super Mario Maker is right there. But I won't do it here. I'll do it afterwards. 
So I can show you where else, you know, you can access them, click next. And from here, we're gonna to go to configure input. You can automatically check for updates if you wanna, don't really need to, or open a separate pad screen. That can, automat that can be done separately. All of these options can be done. These are just, you know, by default. And here's some options, hotkeys as well. So go to configure input and go to emulated controller. So the controller we are emulating is the Wii U gamepad. Recommend that over the Pro Controller for the simple reason, Wii U gamepad works with all games, Pro Controller may not. Go to Controller, go to API, and obviously if you're using like X Import or SDR, feel free to select that. Or if you've got like a Wii Mote or something like a Wii U controller, I'm gonna have separate videos covering like PlayStation 4, Xbox, Wii U controllers, all that stuff. But for now, I'm gonna go to Keyboard, Controller Keyboard, click Add. And now, if I click A and type in A, a, B, X, Y, L, R. And for that one, I'll put semicolon because that's next to R. I'll put T for that. Plus, which is puts it as equals, minus. And for the click, I am going to put, I'll put Y. And I'll put U, J, H, K. And for the right click, I'll put 5, the num5. And num8. Again, feel free to do it however you want to. D pad, up, down, left, right. For blown mic, I'll put insert and then show screen, put home. I recommend that you put a profile name. So I'm going to put this, you know, Wii U gamepad profile. Click save. Profile has been saved. So, why would you want to create a profile? You can have multiple profiles because if you have, let's say, a racing game and maybe you have a game like Zelda and you have a game like Super Mario Maker, you might want a different configuration and you can do that. You can't you know, do that on a regular Wii U, so that's another benefit of emulators. And you can map multiple controllers if you wanna do multiplayer, feel free to do that. Click X, close, it'll load up. And now, so a few options. You can go to full screen, go do that in the game as well, that's fine. You can go to graphics packs and if I like click on this, graphics, you can increase the resolution. I'm gonna leave it as default, you can put mods. I'm gonna do the workaround, which is the grid fix. So if I click that, and you can even do border fix as well. So that's it. And if we go to general settings, in the graphics, make sure you got Vulkan selected if that is an option. You can enable VSync, I'll leave it as default. Everything else, recommend leaving it. Audio, make sure some API is selected. I'm just doing direct sound. The overlay, you can enable that. So, so you show stuff like FPS, CPU to use CPU and RAM usage. I'm gonna leave it as default, which is off. And you know, you can enable online mode. I might create a, create a separate video for that. Let me know if you wanna see that. And in the title manager, you can just see all the titles, a bit more information about it and install it if they need installing. And you can also go change the timer speed. So if you want to increase that, maybe you want to skip a cutscene, for example. And that's really it. Check for updates. We'll find an update because there are those pre-release versions. And now we can literally just double click and the game launches up. And obviously, if we go to full screen, there we go. If we press escape, it goes off it. So I'll go to full screen. So just pressed A on the keyboard. Okay. And that's it. Nothing more to it than that really. Grabbing all the coins so far. And now we can use the mouse to click. <laughs> uh, we can just do the suggested one and uh, we can put one of these here Uh, 
and then obviously we need to create all these Fair bit of fun to be fair. undo it Almost done. Just got to figure out what this is saying. There we go. And that's it, really. I'll continue playing this later, but as you can see, Super Mario Maker is working fantastic, 60 frames per second, and that's it, it's that simple to set up CEMU emulator that emulates Wii U games. Like I said, I'll be doing separate videos on Linux, on Steam Deck, showing you how to set up controllers like PlayStation, Xbox, Wii, Wii U, all that stuff. Let me know what you would like to see next, what you really want to see. Just post it in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe. Um, hit that subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, and feel free to join the Discord group. Link in the description where there's a whole community of people just helping each other out. If you need links, if you need anything, you know, we'll help you out, and that's it. Thank you very much. See you soon. Bye bye.